Today I've got a total of three boxes to open up. Two of these are comic book pickups that I bought off eBay. And one of these should have a pretty big book in it. We'll do those last though. But to start off this video, I actually have a shipped, a $100 shipped comic book mystery box from the company J. Scott Campbell. Or from the gentleman J. Scott Campbell who does a lot of exclusive like variant covers for many many of comic books so he, he sells it i think they're like 85 dollars plus shipping so it's like 100 dollars shipped and you're guaranteed like two or three autographed variant uh j scott campbell exclusive comic books in this and i've actually bought three or four of these now every single one i've always gotten some pretty good return on investment i've got some pretty pretty good signed books in these boxes so i'm excited to see what is in this one this time I mean, no disappointment in these boxes. This website only sells these mystery boxes uh, just a few times a year, make maybe quarterly or so. It's not very often, not very often that you see these boxes. So whenever he put them up for sale, this time I bought like three or four of them in total. I think this is my last one, I think. There might be one more if it is, it's buried in my pile of boxes, but I think this might be my last one. So I'm, I'm excited to see what is in this. So. To keep this a mystery box style, they actually, they wrap it in paper. Keep it the mystery factor. So, I don't, I'm not really expecting anything. Like, I'm not saying I hope I get this one out because I've gotten out of these mystery boxes a lot of J. Scott Campbell exclusive signed Spider-Man comics. Maybe uh, Captain Marvel one. And otherwise, you have to go back and watch previous videos to see what actually what I pulled out because I can't remember half the time. Uh, once I get them, I just put them into my collection. So, okay. The one on the back is probably going to be the bigger hit. So, let's open up. Try not to look too much at which ones I got. The back one does have a certificate of authenticity. So, that one is going to be a signed one. Try not to look at what the certificate says. Just trying to open this thing up without damaging any comics. There. Success. First one, I'll show you first on camera. Then they all come in like bag and boarded with his like sticker from his company, J. Scott Campbell. This is J. Scott Campbell exclusive. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. I think it's a number one variant edition of J. Scott Campbell exclusive. So very cool art on that one. That one actually looks very, very nice. I like it. Next one, number two. Oh, I think it's upside down. Number two. That's a, actually, I think I've got this one before in a mystery box. Um, we've got uh, first X-Men, a legend reborn, J. Scott Campbell exclusive. Yeah, I think I've got this one before in a mystery box from J. Scott Campbell. So, most of my duplicates that I get, a lot of times I actually keep them. And, uh, but sometimes I end up selling them. But I'll decide what to do with that later. Next comic. Oh, the back one has a certificate of authenticity on it. So this one is probably going to be signed. Oh. Is that Gwen Stacy? But it is autographed by J. Scott Campbell right here. On the back you have the certificate of authenticity for the autograph. This says, to authenticity, Marvel Comics, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 14, the L variant, Virgin Sketch, signed by J. Scott Campbell. Nice. So this is Spider-Man number 14, Virgin Sketch variant, autograph by J. Scott Campbell right there. Number 275. Then it has, it's even sealed with his, like, hologram sticker. So you know it hasn't been touched since J. Scott Campbell. So that's actually a nice one. I like it. We got three left still. Next one. Oh, this one also has a certificate on the back of it. So this one's also going to be signed. Oh, nice. So we have Black Cat number one variant edition. Autographed by J. Scott Campbell. Very, very cool cover on that. I like that cover. Look at that. I'm sure you already saw it though the first time I showed you. There's a certificate of authenticity for this comic. Marvel Comics Black Cat number one Golden Apple Comics signed by J. Scott Campbell. 
Nice. And of course the hologram sticker, sealing it all up. Yeah, I like this actually, my favorite one so far out of this box. Next comic, search of authenticity on the back of it once again. This one is also autographed. We got another variant cover. Show the certificate. Okay, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Um, I, signed by J. Scott Campbell, numbered 142. So I think both of these are actually, yeah, they're both Spider-Man number 14, I and L variants. So I got two out of that Spider-Man number 14 run that were done by J. Scott Campbell and Autograph. Very cool on that. I'm guessing that's probably Gwen Stacy, I'm guessing. I could be totally off on that. Probably am. So here we go. Last one from this comic book mystery box. Show you first. The back of it has a certificate once again. And, oh, nice. That's actually a pretty decent hit right there. Wow, that cover is insane. I'll show that once again. Look at that cover art. Fantastic job on that cover. There's a certificate. So it says, Strip of Authenticity, Marvel Comics, Cosmic Ghost Rider, number five. This is the one in 50 variant. Signed by J. Scott Campbell. So that's actually a pretty high-end book right there. A one in 50 variant. So uh, that's actually a pretty hard one to get. And it's autographed. This one, I probably might have paid for a big chunk of this box right here. I actually may look this thing up to find out. So on eBay, I'm seeing Cosmic Ghost Rider number five. I'm not seeing anything signed yet. I haven't actually found this. Oh, there it is. There's the cover. Okay, so here it is. Not autographed. This isn't even autographed. Selling for, with shipping for $36, $40. That's not even autographed. Yeah, this is the Cosmic Ghost Rider one in 50 incentive variant. So this actually was a pretty tough one to find a comic book store. Here's one that sold, okay, here's one that sold autographed with the uh, COA for $60. This looks look like unsigned. It's like 40-ish autograph is worth around 60. And here's another one, not autographed for $34. Let's see, not autographed for 50. So yeah, that's, that's actually a pretty good book right there. So this one by itself, probably worth about 60 bucks as it sits right now. So with this one autographed, that autographed, these two autographed, these right here are worth way over what I paid for this mystery box. And then you go ahead and throw in these two unsigned ones. So yeah, these mystery boxes are some crazy value mystery boxes from J. Scott Campbell. They're all his exclusive uh, covers that he did. And you get out signed ones. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of this mystery box because you just, you get crazy value back no matter what. Like you're not going to lose a dime. You're actually going to get more back than what you paid. So here we go with two here from eBay pickups from some key comments. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this box or what should be in this box. And I, I buy quite a bit off eBay to enhance my collection. And I've just decided to start showing on my YouTube channel what I purchased. A lot of people kind of want to see my collection and everything. So I figured might as well just start showing what I purchased for my collection on my YouTube channel. So, you know, I'll show some of these when I do mystery boxes then. So, lots of wrapping on this one. This one does feel like, like a graded book. I'm expecting in several books that are graded. So this one could be one of several that I'm expecting in. Yeah, it's graded. Well, this is the part of the video where it gets kind of boring for a second while I try to unbox everything. There we go. Now we got through it. He like double bagged this thing too. Which one is this? I saw a Spider-Man cover. I'm trying to think which one this actually might be. Oh, okay. Nice. This is one I recently picked up on eBay. 
We got graded, should be white, yeah, white pages, 9.8, My Amazing Spider-Man number 361. First full appearance of Carnage. Very nice book. I'll take it out of this package, see a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying lots of uh, high-graded comics as kind of investments for the future. Because, I mean, like, a book like this will do nothing but go up in value over time. This is also the retailer edition. The subscription edition has that logo on it. The ones that actually went to retail stores, which is much more rare and harder to find in high grades, will have the barcode right there. So I wanted the barcode, the more rare version of this comic. And this is graded at 9.8 like near mint to mint almost perfect beautiful copy very happy with that straight into the collection so here's the next one which if i if i know i think i know what's in this if it is actually what it is it's even bigger than that book quite a bit bigger especially in terms of value if it's the oh peanuts i hate these white packing peanuts that people use Oh man, okay. Give me a second, I want to unload all these peanuts. So successfully out of the box, avoiding any kind of major spillage of the peanuts. Yep, that's actually what I thought it was going to be. This is also a pretty big book. This is actually going to be my, I think my fourth, yeah, my fourth copy of this book so far. I'm just in investing this book quite a bit because they just announced that a part three is coming out. That's actually that's being created right now. They're trying to make the storyboard for it. Let me get all this. Give me a second. There we go. Here we go. So this is my third 9.8 copy of this book. You ready? Yes. New Mutants number 98 should be at 9.8 white pages. Yep, and it is. Yeah, this is my third copy of this. I now have two that are graded 9.8 white pages that have the retailer, um, the retail barcode on it. And then I have, this is the first one that has the subscription one, which is actually a cheaper version. Then I have one that's an incredibly high grade that's not graded. That probably would be a 9.8 or 9.6 at the lowest. This is my fourth copy of New Mutants. My third copy as a 9.8. Earlier I showed you this book. I told you that the subscription looks like that. Retail version looks like that. This version with the barcode of actually both books is much more rare if it has that on it. So, but yeah, this one I got for like a really good price. I got it for... With my eBay bucks, I got it for like 550 bucks, which is way below the going rate. So this is the first one I got that was not the, or not the, it's called the newsstand edition, which this one is the newsstand edition with the barcode. This is the subscription version. Two pretty big books that I picked up. Very happy with this. So comics can not only be collectible, but you can actually can invest them as for more future value. This one should go up in value once Deadpool Part 3 comes out, probably in the next year or two. This will go even higher. And rumor is Deadpool will enter into the MCU eventually. When that happens, hopefully you bought some of these books before they went up in value too much. They're already going up in value. So I'll see you next time and I'm out.